my name is Amelia, I'm 26 and I live on the Gold Coast. The vision for the boat started about six to eight months ago. I grew up in a family of boating and working and playing around in, in boats and white boats over the time. I've always loved the water. I've always had to have something to get me on the water. I got in touch with the guys up at CNC Marine and spoke with Marsh and told him what I wanted to do. And he sent me a couple of drawings and I edited them, sent them back, and then we got the final product. And then we started getting it cut out and, and built. So the, the start to finish on the build took two and a half months. And then we picked the boat up and we took it down to h and &H Marine. Ben and all his crew, they, they had the boat for a period of two weeks and they got the boat done and colour coded uh, in 1G3, which is the Land Cruiser Grey. And then we brought the boat from there to Trim FX and Chris and all his guys, they smashed out an awesome job with the tan and uh, diamond stitch interior. And once that was complete, we had Cam from Deckett Marine. He came down from Brisbane and put all the teak flooring or foam flooring in it and the custom name throughout the boat and the measuring scale for the fish on the side. And after that, it went up to TR Marine. TR Marine fitted the outboard which is a brand new 300 horsepower Mercury V8, just a normal DTS. After that, it went up to the guys up at On Track Electrical, which was Jamie and his team. And they had the boat for about a week and a half, and they just absolutely nailed it. They did the full fit out. They, you know, we we fitted uh, the 16-inch Furuno TZT2, the transducer, all the audio and entertainment system, all the water pumps, all the solar system, all the dual batteries. I'm running 400 amp hour lithium battery house, 415 watt of solar. I'm running hot water on board. I've got a hundred litre of water. I've got 400 litres of fuel. I'm running all kicker marine gear supplied by Autobahn Burley. Michael and his teams did a great deal with that and all the GME equipment. And then we had Mike from Mike's Marine supply all the Lone Star winches and, and all the little water pumps that we needed for that. And that was awesome of them to supply that. Telling it is my 2018 VX Turtle Land Cruiser 200 series. And that's obviously one G3. And that's running a full GVM upgrade, 35s, Kings Off-Road suspension supplied by EC Off-Road, a diff drop, a long range fuel tank by ARB and a drive. Solar panel on the roof, it's running two twin DCS batteries, dual batteries, and an ARB fridge. And it's got airbag suspension for towing, obviously. It's got the ladder on the rear and the drifter rooftop supplied by Autobahn Burley on the roof. And it's running the Gen Y hitch to tow the boat with. And the towing the boat with a four and a half ton Spitfire trailer. Sam and Cam from down at Spitfire Sydney supplied that with us and they looked after us and they were, pretty, they were awesome. We went down and they um, fitted and weighted the boat to the trailer perfectly. They let us alone trailer whilst, uh, we, whilst we didn't have one, whilst they were still manufacturing it, which was great. And then Jamie and uh, Will from Gas Wheels and Tyres supplied the matching wheels and tyres for obviously the boat and the boat trailer and the cruiser as well. All the engine uh, upgrades were done by Maddie and his team at Just Auto. So they did a full exhaust, snorkel, the multi-map kit and just made everything unreal. And inside it's got the EC off-road dash and display and, and Kale and his boys are unreal to, to deal with, so that was great. Now the windows, the front and the side windows were supplied by Paul from uh, Marine Fab and just absolutely nailed that job. They custom windows and sliders for us. We had onboard electrical. We had their team supply the Furuno gear, which was unreal. We had Shane from Furuno come down and, and do the final sign off on it, which was awesome to have someone first hand show us exactly what we needed to do. We're running all Hella Marine lights above waterline and then below waterline, we're running the Apple Gen 4s, I believe, we put them in and they're just absolutely unreal. The boys over there are great to deal with. We've got four of those on the water. Yeah, so I'm running two tanks, two 200 litre tanks of fuel. I've got 23 rod holders because uh, you know you can never have too many. But the whole reason behind that is I've got 10 down the bottom on, on deck space and 13 up high because I've got an awning that goes over. So you know when it's a family day, all the rods can go up high and we can have the awning out and there's no rods on the bottom. I've got a live bait tank which is about uh, 50 litres of live bait at the moment. I've got heaps of storage in and I've got a deck wash pump. Um, yeah, we're just that's it I think. <laughs> <laughs>